Hi, everybody. Welcome back. I'm here today with my guest, Mr. Robert Steven, who's a hypnotherapist, but so much more. Welcome, Robert. Hi, everyone. We're so happy to have you here. So could you start by telling us a little bit about yourself and your path and all the modalities that you do or wherever you like to start? Uh, thank you. I'm Robert Stephen from Indonesia. So, uh, I'm a holistic uh, hypnotherapist uh, using uh, different modality, uh, uh, including the modern hypno hypnosis and also uh, for the energetic uh, healing as well. A part of, the, of that, I'm also uh, combining uh, other esoteric uh, method uh, so that I can using this different uh, modality to cope for different issues uh, from uh, our client. Uh, in fact, I have been practicing energy for more than 20 years, uh, specifically the Chinese Qi. The energy uh, from China, we call it the Qi Kong. You have heard about that. Also, uh, several Nei Kong. So I'm uh, practicing a different uh, school from this energy. Uh, initially, I uh, practice my energy work is only for myself, for my uh, well-being. But later on, I found that uh, it is so effective and so powerful for healing others. Then uh, I was lucky to find uh, different uh, masters in China uh, who taught me uh, how to use, how to utilize the energy uh, for healing. Then from there, I started the hypno hypnosis. Mm -hmm. By that time, it was just for fun, okay, for curiosity. And uh, then again, as I, uh, my uh, my energetic work, I found that the hypnosis is also another another powerful uh, modality for for treatment or for healing. Then I continue with, with hypnotherapy. Then the more I go into that, the more curiosity I found, the more puzzle I would say that uh, I need to find out. So uh, then I keep searching. Now I'm traveling around the world uh, to different countries uh, to find, I, I would call it to, to find the, the fragments of the energetic puzzle, you know, because energy has been practicing by our ancestors for a thousand years. And if we can see that uh, there are synchronicities uh, among different cultures, different uh, uh, parts of the world, you say like uh, um, China, India, uh, the uh, far, the, the the Middle East, even Europe, even uh, some of the uh, the like in in uh, in Latin America, for instance. There are so many uh, cultures with the same, uh, I would say, with the same practice, the same principle about the energy, the divine energy from uh, from the universe. And uh, the more I get into it, the more interesting uh, I found. Mm -hmm. And then I found that at the end, they all come to the same source about the divine energy from the, uh, from, from the universe. But the, the thing is for me is that I'm more interested in the scientific approach rather than the mystical, because as you know, that uh, some of the energy, energetic practice are more in the, in the ceremonial or ritual or mystical ritual. I also learned that. I also learned different uh, uh, mystical uh, uh, modality from, from Java, from, from Indonesia. In Indonesia, we have a lot of uh, culture which have been practicing this kind of uh, uh, mystical energy uh, for a thousand years ago. So I also learned that, but I found that most uh, all of them are the same principle. Okay, so this make me uh, get into it more and more deeper and deeper. And uh, now uh, I would say that I have quite a lot of different modality for uh, for healing. 
Yes, that's amazing. I love that all your research you did and you found that they're all using the same universal energy, just like their own methods. And and yes, you are very scientific. I remember when I talked to you like a couple of years ago, like you were telling me the scientific approach to how you help people when they have chronic pain by explaining to them the nerves and everything. Would you mind sharing a little bit about that? Like how you help people when they have physical pain, whether it's like cancer or something like where they have the pain for a long time and it's something they have to bear. What are some of the methods you've learned that helps with that? That would be good. Yes. Uh, pain management is, uh, is, I would say that it's easy, okay, uh, to be handled with hypnotherapy because pain itself, in fact, is not real. Pain is illusion. Pain is perception. It's just like the uh, alarm clock in the morning. You want to wake up, okay? So do you turn on the, uh, the alarm clock? It is a signal to make you awake, okay? To make you aware. And in fact, for the alarm clock, maybe just vibration or small volume of sound will make you, uh, will be waking you up. But the problem is that the sound sometimes is too high. And then so when it, it sounds clean and then you were kind of kind of shocked. So it is the same things like pain. Pain has several categories. One is as a signal to tell you that, come on, you have something, you have some problem in certain part in your body or, or, or certain uh, cause of illness or whatever, just to make you aware that you have something uh, that you need to to. to to, to be careful or to go to the doctor for treatment. For instance, like uh, 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 cancer or, uh, or, or the infection of the teeth or whatever. So we call it, this is the, uh, the organic uh, pain. But there are also uh, psychological pain, mm -hmm. okay? Psychological pain is, for instance, like when you are depressed, when you are thinking something disturbing you, and then you feel headaches. Mm -hmm. Or even some people, they are afraid of going to dentist. <laughs> so when they are just thinking of going to dentist, the teeth is getting even worse. See? So uh, this kind of pain is not, uh, 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 it's not, how to call it, it's not organic, mm -hmm. but it's more mental. And then there are also, uh, other pain, uh, which is, we call it a non-functional pain. For instance, somebody had certain disease or certain illness in the past, mm -hmm. okay? And they had pain. But in fact, the, the, the physical or the, the uh, physiological issue is already gone. It's already healed. But for some reason, the pain is still there. Okay, from time to time, like chronic, chronic pain, for instance, <clears throat> some that kind of pain serves no function anymore. Mm. Okay, but we still feel it. So, uh, in another word, whatever the pain is, they are in our mind. They are not real. They are uh, perception. Mm -hmm. So. In this case, as long as we change the perception, the pain is gone. Okay, especially the physical, uh, the, the psychological pain. It is practically it's very easy to eliminate. Okay, of course, uh, the pain management or eliminating pain in hypnotherapy is not to replace uh, the uh, the medical treatment. Okay. Uh, the medical treatments you need to continue to uh, to uh, uh, to resolve the uh, the the organic problem, but the thing is that for pain is most of the people pain is the things that is disturbing. Okay, as I say, the the pain we feel is much more what our body needed as a signal to tell us something wrong. Okay, we, we don't need such a high sensation of the pain but uh, why we feel so painful is we learn it from our experience we are expecting it 
in a certain way. Okay, so we can reduce that pain. We can eliminate that pain. Just is simply change the perception. I have been doing I don't know um, uh, if not thousands or a hundred cases uh, by instance eliminating pain or reducing pain, and so I would say uh, never fail. It's easy in just instantly, maybe in ten five minutes, ten minutes, it's mm -hmm. gone. Sometimes even when before the treatment, before the therapy, when I talk, the pain is already gone. Mm. So we can we can talk about this uh, in in yeah. uh, in deeper uh, 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 later on. But what I want to say is, pain is is very effective to be uh, mm -hmm. to be healed or to be uh, handled with the you know, uh, therapy. Yeah. Yes, and I remember seeing that video of you like. There was like somebody like you put him to sleep. I just, I mean, you have, I'm sure you have a lot of videos like that, but you have, uh -huh. people that have the ability to hypnotize people where they like can move and do all kinds of things. So I think that's really amazing. But you're combining energy healing and hypnosis when you do that, like Qigong, you said. So it's kind of like a mix of the two when you're doing that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, why I, I, I need so many different modalities that I found that. Every modality, they say uh, hypno and uh, modern hypno uh, uh, hypnotherapy, verbal, non-verbal. Okay, the verbal it means that the modern hypnosis where you you you, you are using the verbal uh, suggestion, and then there are also the non-verbal. Mm -hmm. Normally, call it the uh, mesmerism or magnetism. Okay, uh, it's a non-verbal, but we put people to the outer stage where we can reset the, the, the default of the body system. Yes. And also uh, uh, the energetic healing. But I found that every modality, they have a kind of loophole. Mm -hmm. Okay? So not, not one uh, modality that can cook everything. They are always not not minus, but they're always a loophole that uh, certain modality, they cannot handle a certain uh, issue totally, okay? So for instance, the non-verbal, uh, like mesmerism, for instance, mm -hmm. it's a very strong uh, technique to put people, to bring people to the outer state, or which we call it the uh, deepest nature body stage mm. we can restore the body instinct our basic instinct okay for instance this is very powerful for healing the sexual disorder or sexual dysfunction yes because right. sex drive is a it's a very basic instinct for the people but for some reason uh they are blocked mm -hmm. so that we can restore that instinct then we can easily resolve this kind of, of problem. But in, for certain cases, the mesmerism or non verbal they cannot really resolve the, uh, the root of the cause for some, uh, some issue because we need to reframe mm. the, uh, the, uh, the, the submodality in the consciousness. Okay, for instance, for trauma or for phobia, for instance, then in this case, I can combine the non-verbal with the verbal. Mm -hmm. For some other organic uh, uh, problem, for instance, like emotional block or uh, the, the, uh, the energetic block, mm -hmm. then I can use the energetic healing. So in energetic feeling, I'm using my energy to entangle with the energy of the client. Because uh, everyone, all of us, we already have the energy in our body. But we never train to how to, uh, to, how to call it, to, uh, to use it, to utilize it uh, for health or for healing. In fact, we all have our uh, energy for self-healing. So my task is just to, to connect my energy with the energy of the client and then I drive or I uh, uh, to accelerate 
the energy of the client so that the energy is running and then do the self healing because energy have intelligence yeah, intelligence it's very powerful very smart the energy know how to work how to do because uh all the problem either physical or i mean physiological or psychological problem they are all because of the imbalance of our body system so when the and, and mostly they are caused by the energy block okay As some people say this is the imbalance of the energy polarity okay so so using the the energy the utilizing the energy we can unblock we can release the blockage of the energy and then the end when the energy uh, is balancing the body system then the problem is gone yes no i love so that. This, I remember you talked yeah. about self-hypnosis and i did that with you i could i could definitely self-hypnotize myself and that was amazing to me that i could listen to the recording that you told me to create and i would listen to it and I would self-hypnotize myself and say the certain words and I would definitely feel the effects of it. And I was like, that's amazing because you energetically feel it and you mentally and emotionally feel the shift as well. And that's how I like that you combine the two. Because sometimes when people are doing energy work, have you noticed like some energy work you want to do with people, they'll block it, you know? And I've noticed it's because like either they're afraid of change or they don't want that next step. So you try to do energy work, like it doesn't happen. But then if you do something else to shift their mind, then they're able to actually allow that healing to come in. Would you say that? Yeah. Yeah. Because energy is is scientific. You now when we're talking about energy, it is about quantum physics. They are real. And also the energetic feeling, I mean, if you believe it, it works. But even if you don't believe it, it still works. Because energy is, is uh, and also energy is beyond uh, time and space. That's why I can also do the the distant healing. Yes, fiat zone. So when nowadays with all this technology, I mean, uh, uh, it is very helpful. So with this, the zone, and so we can do the healing. We can send the energy. Because when the quantum entanglement happen, mm -hmm. then the energy is, is no more limit. It's no boundary. So whatever I'm doing here, it has already happened at the same time at the other part of the, of the world. Yes. And then also when I combine this with this, this kind of uh, scientific uh, metaphysics, mm. I can also uh, handle certain uh, issue, certain physical issue, which sometimes doctor has problem to uh, to 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 heal. Sometimes it sounds a little bit strange, sounds sound a little bit spooky. I mean, some people they don't believe it, but believe me, I mean this is true. Of course, I mean, I never claim that I can heal or I can. Uh, uh, give therapy for a physical issue. Let's say, for instance, for uh, for cancer or for a certain uh, uh, organic issue like heart attack or for instance. There are many cases I have been uh, done, but I never claim. Okay, because it's not. In fact, it is not my our domain. It's not my domain. Uh, we are mo working more on the psychosomatic uh, uh, aspect. But from time to time. When client come to me, I mean, I uh, say, okay, I, I believe, I know a certain technique that it works, but of course it's no magic, okay? But scientifically, I know that it can work. So uh, I can do that. Uh, it is all about quantum physics. Mm -hmm. What I mean quantum physics is that uh, by mentally, when I visualize or when I do a certain change, just by visualization, some people call it by the holographic pro, uh, uh, technique. I can connect to the to the physic or the, the organ of the client, mm -hmm. and then uh, with the, the the intention, with the energy, because energy go where our intention go. So just using the energetic intention, we can resolve a lot of physical problem or organic problem. And then the real things happen in the body of the of the client. Yes, yeah. yeah, for instance, uh, recently uh, there was a lady who had kista. 
Okay, she had Tista for for many years, and her menstruation cycle was really disturbing. Uh, she couldn't have baby because uh, her menstruation always take twenty five days a month, and then just two or uh, three or five days empty and clean, and then starting again. So uh, she came to me, and then I said, "Okay, I mean, physic, I mean, the scientifically." I know that happened. Of course, it's no promise. It's not my domain. But then I worked with her for two sessions. Then, when she came to me, uh, her menstrual cycle was at the six days. Okay, mm -hmm. and instantly, instantly, the next day, it stopped. And then the coming three days, she said that uh, some dry uh, uh, blood, you know, uh, coming out. But after three. Yeah, yeah. Then after three days, she said it's, it's all clean. And she was kind of wondering. So she was not really believe it. Mm -hmm. And after one week, still normal. And then after two weeks, she went to the doctor to check uh, 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 in the lab. in the lab, And the doctor was surprised. He said, it's gone. It's all clean. It's done. And I just met her uh, last week. So it was already about two months. You say everything's normal, and then the doctor say you are ready to get baby. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, so you know, uh, yeah, these kind of things I never claim that. Okay, I never promise, but uh, I know there are certain technique that it works. No, that makes perfect sense because men and women hold so much of their emotions in their organs right like in their sexual organs that's why a lot of men get cancer down there a lot of women get cancer down there or there's so much so that you're saying like some of it could be physical but a lot of it could also be emotions of the trauma or the you know other things that are stuck there and once if they're doing the physical thing and it's not getting better once they add a couple of these kind of modalities it could really be the the thing that actually opens it up you know yeah yeah because for me I really, uh, how to call it? I really understand the concept, the principle, not about technique. Because once I know the principle of how all this healing work, either it is uh, psychologically or physiologically or uh, energetical or, or whatever it is, when I know how it works scientifically, then I know how to play around, you know. Sometimes when the client uh, come to me, honestly, I don't know what I should do. I have no certain technique in my mind. I have no obsession. Okay. So just by the, the assessment, I all, always do kind of assessment, the uh, pre-talk. Then when I know, when I have the clue of certain problem, then, uh, then I know what should I do. Okay. But because there is no one technique for everyone. Exactly. Okay, so uh, just then I know how to do that. Sometimes I need two several sessions because maybe the first session maybe we didn't found we didn't find the 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 exact how to call it. If we are not, and maybe I'm not using the the right technique for that. It's okay because sometimes you you miss it. You miss the the clue. Okay. But normally after this, the first session, then I, if it was not really working, then I know, okay, that's not, the, that's not the case. Yeah. So that I can use the other, other techniques. So as I have so many different modalities, at the end, I would say that normally that I can handle it. But of course, in this case, I always tell the clients that if in the first session, if, if it is not working, do not consider it as a fail. Mm. Okay, so I always need their commitments to to have at least three sessions, for instance, because normally after three sessions, I got it. I mean, I can at least I I know what to do and I I, I know the the root of the cause. Then I can I can continue the uh, the the healing. Exactly, that makes sense, and I love that you have so many modalities and that you do like change like every session, and you kind of go with what they need, you know. So that's very helpful. And um, can you talk to us also a little bit about? I remember you talked about this nerve that's like in the back of the brain that you were saying it's really connected to pain. 
Do you remember telling me about that? Like there was like a nerve you said back here that somehow it's connected to pain receptors for the whole body or something like that. Yeah, I mean, uh, pain is, is perceived uh, uh, by our nervous system and also our belief system. Mm -hmm. So uh, no, uh, normally pain that caused by a certain issue in our physical, mm -hmm. normally the pain will send the signal or that organ or that part of the body they will send the sensation or the signal, sorry, not the sensation, they send the signal to our mind through, we call it the peripheral nerve. And then that nerve will send the signal through our spinal cord to our brain. Then when our brain have that signal, it will re, uh, how to convert it mm -hmm. into the sensation of the, of the pain. So, uh, our central nervous system is contributing a lot of all this uh, system. And they are all going through our spinal cord. Mm. So, spinal cord is one of the main channel. Not only the nervous system, but also the energetic system. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, all our body, all our organs, all the the uh, the our, our uh, how to call it, uh, yeah, the whole body system. They are all connected with the spinal cord. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then go to our nervous system, uh, which is handled by the central nervous system. So, for instance. There once a healing method I'm using, we call it the centrum technique. Okay, the centrum technique, the centrum is the, the highest self of our consciousness. So it's like a, the boss mm -hmm. of the consciousness. And our consciousness have a lot of parts. Our body is some of the part of part. We have hundreds or million parts. Okay, I mean, uh, it's a long story to talk about it, but put in a simple way. The centrum have a, uh, has the, all the ability, all the access to all the memory in our subconscious and that to all the control of our consciousness or in our central nervous system. And from the central nervous system, they are, we call it the small muscle because we have different muscles. We have skeleton muscle. Uh, we have the cardio, uh, I, oh, sorry, I don't remember the, the ejectum. But and then another uh, muscle, we call it small muscle. The small muscle we found out in all in our nervous, all the, 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 uh, the how to call it, the nerve, all the organs, uh, channel. So whatever happened in our body, all the physiolog uh, the physiological problem to the heart attacks, the digestion system, or uh, whatever you mean it, they are in in certain way influenced by the this uh, or the control by the the the, uh, the small muscle, and the small muscle is controlled by our mind, by mm -hmm. our central nervous system. So a lot of physical problem, including let's say uh, high blood pressure or heart attack or digestive uh, problem or you just mean you just name it, we can intervene by interventing the mind, this consciousness. And then to resolve the problem through the small muscle. And then we can work on it by involving the centrum. Mm -hmm. So this is how the uh, information. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I just, so centrum is how you're getting the information from the higher mind to kind of figure out what's happening, right? Yes. Not only getting the information, but also it's, it works like. You know, it's 
it sounds strange, but it's, it, it, it works like the uh, antivirus in your computer, like a, like a program. So the Centrum, for instance, I can tell the Centrum, I can communicate with the Centrum through the, the hypnosis. Okay, so when I, uh, I bring the clients to the hypnotic stage, to the subconscious stage, then I can communicate with Centrum. And then Centrum, I can utilize Centrum as the tool to scan. It yes, it works like exactly like computer. I can tell Centrum, Centrum now, uh, scan the whole body, for instance, to find out if there's any part that contribute the problem, for instance. And then the Centrum will running like a scanning, like the computer, blah, 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 blah. and then and then when it's done, the the the, the, the Centrum will tell me it's done. Then so I, I can communicate with Centrum, and then Centrum had the access to all the part, and then Centrum can using all the means he has to intervene. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then uh, solve the problem. Mm -hmm. And it's very scientific. It is nothing spooky. Yeah, and I mean I've I've seen you do it, and it's amazing. You know, it's amazing how Centrum talks and the way you have it right on that board and. It's really amazing because you know when it's false information because it won't look the same on the board. Like you even have people test it to try to erase it. And so I like how you have all these backup methods to make sure like the information you're getting is correct. And it's not just like the first thing that comes to their mind or something like that. You know, you're actually checking the information that you're getting. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so there are also several, uh, several ways, as, as you mentioned, the backup. So, for instance, for, for the people who are more visualized, they can visualize the, the writing board where the centrum can write the, uh, the answer or the communication. But for some people who are not visualized, when they are more, more kinesthetic, for instance, or, or, or visual or, or, or uh, auditory, for instance, yeah, I can use different way. For instance, uh, if they cannot visualize something written by uh, by the centrum, I can ask them to uh, centrum can give answer by moving fingers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when the centrum say yes, he will maybe he will he will move the the index finger. If no, by the uh, the you know small oh, finger. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, when done is uh, like uh, the the thumb, for instance. So then the client doesn't need to uh, to visualize, and but by moving the finger and. In some cases, this is even much stronger than visualizing. Mm. Because visualizing, sometimes the, your consciousness will try to find the visual. Totally. But with the kinesthetic, the client doesn't need to do anything. Just let go. Just surrender. And then the finger will move by itself. Oh, you it actually will move. Like you'll it will move by itself. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Because it's moved by centrum. So in certain cases, it can be even stronger because we do not disturb the, uh, we do not disturb the uh, the the, the uh, hypnotic stage, okay, uh, of the client. So the client just relax, just do nothing. Uh, so uh, let the centrum do the the work. So yeah, that's why I said that I have all these different modalities so that I can use them accordingly to the need of the of the client. Yes, I love that. And you also teach for people if people want to learn your method, right? Like you have classes for hypnotism and things like that too, right? You teach your own method. Yeah, I have been teaching in the different countries. Mm. I have, honestly, I mean, the one thing to tell you, I'm doing this not for, not as a profession, okay? I'm not doing this for business. Because I'm a businessman, in fact, and also I'm an artist. Oh, <laughs> I'm yeah, I, yeah, I'm a bonsai artist. You can search my name. You can put Robert Bonsai. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I'm a, oh, I'm you have bonsai trees, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Bonsai tree. Oh. Yeah, I'm the international bonsai master, in fact. Oh. I've been, yeah, I have been teaching bonsai in 49 countries. 
<laughs> yeah, you can search, you can and Google. Those are like the hardest trees to take care of, right? And they can grow to be. What is the oldest bonsai tree, if I may ask? Like, oh, are... there's hundreds. Yeah, there are hundreds. Yes, uh, even uh, some are already more than one thousand year in Japan, for instance. Yeah, and they're still yeah. alive and they're taking care. Oh yeah, of yes, them. yes. And yes. they don't get too tall. They stay that same height, kind of, or do they? Do they grow a little bit taller when they get that old? Sorry, and yeah, of course, it is growing, but there's our our job to maintain it, to maintain the uh, the the balance. Oh. Do you feel and, like uh, people you work with are kind of like trees too? Like you're kind of trimming parts of their mind and kind of that kind of stuff. Do yeah, yeah, like we call it the bonsai treatment, a bonsai healing, or they call it the tree healing. You can use it for healing. Yeah. For mental healing, so cool. no, yeah, and also uh, uh, in the one of my recent uh, uh, teaching, I even combine or put the hypnotic uh, hypnosis uh, concept to the bonsai. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, because you know, uh, I'm I'm not teaching the technique. I'm not teaching people how to do bonsai, but I'm teaching the aesthetic principle. The aesthetic concept, how to design an artistic tree. Oh, wow. So uh, yeah, recently I teach the concept of I call it hypnotic bonsai. Okay, so I teach people how to create a bonsai using the elements of the aesthetic, uh, the aesthetic element to create a certain uh, design that can stimulate. The, the the sensation of the viewers and then to create a kind of we call it the mesmerizing effect you know uh yeah then uh you see what i mean when you in fact we are experiencing uh hypnosis uh every day when every you watch the yeah when you watch yeah. tv when we are doing the daydream okay or uh, when you are uh, watching the uh, the advertisement on TV, in fact, you are already in trance. So the same Can thing. Talk about when... that a little bit, like how they put us into trance with the TV, and then they put information into our mind. Yes. Touch on that a little bit, because I know you understand it really well. Yeah, yeah, it's all the suggestion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they call it the subliminal uh, suggestion, mm -hmm. right? So it when you the news and the advertisement to, and they can kind of create division amongst people like by certain things they're putting right that kind of stuff cause chaos or goodness with yeah. it. in the media they're using it a lot for that kind of stuff oh yeah media they are doing a lot and also the politician mm. for instance like in the campaign the campaign team now now you are approaching the the election i i can tell you I can tell you the, the, the campaign team in certain extent, they are learning that, they are using that. Because I can tell you that uh, CIA have been, have been spending a lot of money mm. to do research and experiments on this kind of things, on this, uh, uh, I, I don't call it uh, hypnotic, but this kind of, uh, uh, how to call it, the energy stuff, the uh, uh the 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 mental thing the the the, 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 the how to call it uh this kind of of way how to influence people you know uh, uh the mind and the, in in politics I mean people can uh, give all the doctrines uh, indoctrination how to influence people can you imagine that how many are they uh the 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 smart people they are easily influenced by certain figures and they get go they go they go crazy. Oh, totally. For some, totally. Yeah, for some people, we maybe we think that it's crazy. It is. It is not logical. I mean, it, it's insane. But when we call it brainwash, okay, brainwash is just hypnosis. Mm. You know, yeah, yeah. You can learn it. You, you can give the certain suggestion with certain formal technique, and mm. then you can you can bypass this the 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 consciousness. So when you bypass, oh yes, when you bypass the consciousness to the subconscious. Whatever you say, it will be the truth. Whatever you say, it will be the reality. And it is installed like a program in the in the subconscious. Hey, and then it exactly stays, stays there. there. Stay there and it will become a belief of the people. So it's very dangerous. 
Yes. So then, yeah, in in the uh, in the conventional hypnosis, mm -hmm. uh, they say that hypnotic state is kind of relaxation. Okay, you are you are decreasing the brain wave to a certain level to the alpha or theta, then you can give suggestion. But in the new dogma of uh, of hypnosis, you don't need it. You don't need to put people in trance or in the, in the, in the relaxation. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can just bypass the subconscious. Okay, you bypass the we call it bypass the critical zone, uh, the critical faculty. And you use okay? it with like a certain tool, like they bypass it by. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a technique. Or something. Yeah, I learn it and and I teach it and I can do that. Oh, no, uh, yeah, <laughs> it can well, be very dangerous. You don't misuse that, but some people misuse it. You know, you have integrity and exactly. you have honor. You don't ever do that without people's permission. But and that's actually going against free will, which is like the highest law in the universe is like, don't mess with people's free will. I would say the highest spiritual law I've learned. But yeah, it's like oh, yeah. that they're doing that all the time with the media. So a lot of people are watching the news, whatever source they're watching, and they Thank think you. they're getting the truth, but they're just being brainwashed constantly. And then they're fighting each other. And it's just like, exactly. okay. Yeah, you know? we call it uh, the technique, I call it the hook, hack, and hijack. Mm -hmm. so, okay, so you can, when you, yeah, hook, hack, and hijack. So when in the in the conversation, when you I mean you can hook with the 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 the, the, the uh, how to call it uh, with someone that you are communicating. Okay, there's a lot of technique of doing the hook. Okay, by using the body language, the body movement. Okay, by um, uh, mirroring, uh, you know all these technique, and then when you hook it, and then you can hack it. You can hack it. Oh yeah, by start, yeah, you can start using certain technique to 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 bypass the the, the subconscious, uh, the the uh, critical faculty, because critical faculty is the filter mm -hmm. for somebody to analyzing to criticize if you get any information. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, we are not easily. Uh, influenced by people because we can analyze, we can visual, we can uh, uh, criticize it. But there are certain techniques to bypass that. Mm -hmm. When we bypass it, you are no more have the ability to to critic or to criticize or to oh. evaluate. You can be you will believe whatever he says. So yeah. when you are so so when we are there, then you can uh, they can hijack your 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 mind they can tell you whatever whatever it is you will believe that it is the truth and then then the oh yeah and then they can anchor it anchor that uh that uh, uh that stage oh, yes yes yeah then it will become a that's why you see in politics or even in in religion there are so many fanatics followers oh yeah and yeah. their the followers are not not stupid people you know, they are they are high educated people. For us, sometimes we don't we, we can't understand why. They are not they are not stupid. But how can they do this kind of of uh, uh, unlogical things and you know because they we call it brainwash. When brainwash is in fact in fact it is uh, reprogram wow. the subconscious. Yeah, it's the so and in how do you use it, like you said, like religious figures that kind of have dark agendas, you know, and they can use it to trick people to, you know, yes, they want them to. Yeah, do. Uh, yeah. Like, uh, the religion is in in uh, in the, the religion is easy, and also politician is easy to influence people. Why? Because they have the authority. Mm. You see, so when you go to the authority, you instantly kind of have a different access to their mind. You're saying it's kind of like because you have that authority, it does something yeah. to harm people or something like that. Yeah, that's why when when you are going to the church, you see that. I'm sorry to say that it's not only church, but it's also in the religion. in the Buddhism or, or other religion, or even in the ancient time, they uh, we call it the magic man or, or you know the 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 witch. Oh, they yeah? can do the healing because they have the authority mm. so when you believe him when he has the authority or if he is your idol 
Okay, then look up to them or put them on a pedestal. Somewhere. Yes, and then it will influence to your belief system. So when it go to your belief system, it's much much easier to to hijack to 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 hack and to hijack. Wow, it's simple. That's so it's simple. This yeah. is so amazing because like, do, so do you? What would be like a good way to make like protect ourselves from that? You know, is there like yes. a hypnosis to do to like not be able to be hypnotized? Would would you could you would you think would you say that? Yes, this the, the to practice the we call it the present. Mm. There's a practice to 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 uh, to practice present. Okay, there are uh, there are many techniques to to uh, to train or to do exercise for present. So when you always being present or uh, or somebody call it grounded. So when it's become a habit, then uh, your your awareness is always standby to protect you. Okay, so it's like if something is coming, like because your presence, that higher mind of yours is very stable and you're grounded. If you notice right. manipulation coming, you'll feel it, whether it's from yes, tea. yes, it's because it has yes. a weird energy, right? Like whenever right. people try to manipulate me, I just kind of watch them and I'm like. I already know 10 steps ago when they try to manipulate me, you know, right. I'm just watching what they're doing. But exactly. I've also had it where I feel like I have been influenced by people before and I've had to kind of come out of it. So I think when I was younger. Um, so yeah. I like, oh, thank you so much for explaining that. Because, um, you know, uh, awareness with person is different. We are always in our daily life. We are focused on many things, but we are not present. The difference is that awareness is our focus, our attention, our intention to out to go outside our body. Okay, we are focused on something. We are aware of something, but we are not aware of ourselves. How many times you are trying to go into inside your body to go back to yourself to feel the present, to feel the uh, aware of your body, of yourself? Yeah. Okay. Not, not many people do that. It is very important because it's kind of retreat. It's a, a mind retreat. It's a mental retreat. Mm -hmm. We are doing retreat a lot of things. We are doing retreat outside our body, but we are not doing our mental retreat. So going inside the body and being very aware, right. feeling everything is one way to know if there is manipulation coming because you might sense it in your body as a signal, for example, right? Like, I know when some right. bad, bad energy is around me, I might feel really anxious or my stomach might feel twisted or something like that. Our nervous system kind of picks up on it when we're in the yeah. body. Instead of like you can also do the healing. You can also do the healing with uh, the present. For instance, uh, imagine that every day we are doing a lot of bad things to our organ. Consciousness or subconsciousness let's say even for simple thing we look a lot of bad things with our eyes we speak a lot of bad things to people okay we are eating so many bad things that doing bad to our digestion okay we are thinking so many uh, bad things that uh, uh, how to call it uh, polluted our mind Many things, okay? We touch so many things that we are not supposed to touch. You know? We are going a lot of, uh, going somewhere that we are not supposed to go. And all, everything. And they are all, uh, you like it or not, it is all affect our body. And then a simple way to do the healing is you relax, I mean, do a kind of meditation, uh, do kind of concentration, so relax feel grounded, and then you talk to your organ. You apologize. Yes. Have you ever done, have you ever apologized to your body, to your organ, that you have been doing bad things to it? Try it. Yeah, try it. You will feel the difference. You speak to them. Speak like to each of the... Your heart, talking to your liver, like I'm sorry right. I ate this food or... I'm sorry, exactly. I didn't have to do it. Making friends with the body. That's such an exactly. important helping people. Exactly. Body. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Exactly. Doing that, you will feel the difference. At least it will switch, it will shift your mood. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Like in the morning, every day, every day when you awake, before you do anything, I mean, just open your eyes and then you touch your heart and you say, uh, uh, Pontia, I love you. Thank you. See? First thing and then starting with that loving energy. To yeah. Yeah. It shift your it shift your 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 mood, your your mental state. And yeah. every night before going to sleep, say uh good, good night, Pontia. I love you. Thank you. You thanks to yourself. Thank yeah. You. you exactly you love yourself, thanks yourself by loving your body. Your body will know it. You know, when the body knows that you love it, they are happy and then they will know. See yeah. Most people are kind of hypnotized by TV and the movies to hate their body, right? Like most yes. people work with men and women, they always tell me, I don't like this, this, this. And I'm like, how about we just love your body, you know? And But yeah, it's like, I think we, we've all get programmed, you know, like this is what it is. And a lot of it is fake. It's not even real. But yeah, like really loving our body is one of the most powerful spiritual tools, but also physical healing tools. And then what, I love what you're saying, like every morning and night, do that. So then it becomes a routine for the rest of your life. If you have a good day or a bad day, that's a good way to end and begin it anyway. Just loving yourself. It heals so much. So. Yeah, I have a friend, uh, a bonsai friend, uh, a lady from Korea. Okay. She, she, she's nice looking. Okay, she's nice looking. And she's not that bad. Okay. But every you know she never ever take picture never she hate she hate taking picture so when we have convention we have a gathering we have bonsai event whatever she's always stay away when we're taking picture and she is never allowed people taking a picture she's nice she's very nice yeah. and uh, uh in in the beginning and I, I didn't know that later on then you know why? Because she always feel that she was fat and she was ugly. Mm -hmm. Always. So every time in the community, com uh, in in the conversation, you can uh, least you can hear that she always saying she she uh, she is fat and ugly for many many times. Mm -hmm. Then I I realize it. Program. Yeah, it is in in the mind. And then what happened? She she will getting more. Fetter, fetter, and then the, the the expression is not really shiny. It's not, it's not cheerful. It's kind of sad, and the whole body. And I always have problem physical here and there. And then I told her, I say, uh, that's the mental problem. It's easy. I can then. Uh, it was last year. Mm. I helped her. I gave her the 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 the, the healing. Then it improved. It improved. Now she is more cheerful, and then she she like take picture. She like taking picture, oh. you know? Yeah, yeah. At least, yeah, it's like take picture. And then I told her, I said, if you keep going, and then uh, we can do another session for us for we call it the hypno slimming, you know? Then you can, yeah, yeah. It is all here. No, because you went. That. Yeah, it is in in our our belief system. Yes. Yes. And if you think about it, like the medical industry makes more money if people are sicker and overweight and we're all not feeling good. So they 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 do program us to become like that. Like they're always advertising pizza and soda and everything has sugar in it in America. You know, like I've been trying not to eat sugar and it's so hard because it's almost in everything. So it's almost right. like in the world, a lot of things could be against us, but we have to almost like be very determined. Right change everything because otherwise the hypnosis that's inside of us will take us down bad roads so we have to kind of do these like sessions with you could kind of have this breakthrough for people where they start moving upward or they're able to manage their pain and all these different things and i like hypnosis because it's going under the conscious mind like you know because sometimes right. really intellectual people just want to argue and i'm just like no let's just go under <laughs> under the mind or do the energy work to go under the mind again you know so it works both ways and i love that Right. I mean, also, for instance, all the uh, supplements, all the vitamin, I mean, all the, 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 the pills you are getting every day, you know, uh, there are a lot of advertisements. As, oh, you eat this, you eat that, and it's good for this, it's good for that. It's not true because uh, what happens with our body is that we have all the means, we have all the facility, we have all the 
the, the ability to produce those all, everything. The, the problem with our body is that if we have some problem, that's just simply because there are something imbalanced. Mm. That's it. So when it's imbalanced, then our body has some is uh, disturbed in producing certain uh, uh, element or uh, hormonal of, or whatever uh, of some, a certain chemical that needed in our body to be healthy. So when we are uh, how to, we are handling it with pill with all this kind of input, then our body will become dependent. It's normal. When you give, it's just like human. When you, you keep supplying, it will stop producing by itself. Yeah. It's like animal. Any animal, your dog or your cat, you keep feeding them. And one day you put them in the jungle. They don't know how to, how to find food. They are not used to it. They don't know how to find food. You see what I mean? So yeah. it's simple. It is just simple concept. So in our body, the same. So if we keep eating all the supplements, all these kind of things, our body will become independent. It become dependent. The more it depends, the more it will become imbalanced. Once you don't take it orally or you don't input that, your body will become very sick because your body doesn't know how to produce it. So the, the best way is doing the self-healing with the energetic heal uh, work. No? Uh, exercise, uh, learn how to do this all kind of uh, uh, energetic work, the qigong, all these things. So to balance all the energy, to balance, to recover uh, the body system, when all this becomes balanced, the disease is gone. You don't need to, you don't need to eat all these things. Simple. Because the, the energy centers go along the hormonal glands. So as you're balancing them, they naturally affect the physical body underneath it, right? And then it's kind of like uh, after a while, everything is kind of coming back into balance. You don't need to take everything because your body can technically make everything. It, a lot of the stuff itself, like vitamin D, a lot of people take the supplement. But if people just went 20 minutes in the sun every day, they would have vitamin D naturally. Right, something like yeah, that. Yeah, even even you don't need to go to the sun. I mean, if you you train the energy, and then the immune uh, system will all is automatically is working. See, if the, when you are uh, doing the exercise, all the hormonal system mm -hmm. is 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 working. Mm -hmm. So then everything is okay. Yeah. I have a class. I call it Arcana, uh, Arcana Energetic uh, Code. It is a three days intensive class. I'm teaching people uh, with all the exercise about how to cultivate energy and how to utilize it, how to use it for self-healing and also for certain healing to other people. So there are a lot of breathing work. So, okay, make it, uh, I put it a, 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 a simple way. Energy, we have uh, prenatal and postnatal. Mm. Okay? Prenatal energy is what the energy we are uh, uh, given by our mom when we are born. Okay, we already have the, the energy. Okay, it's just like when you buy a, a new mobile phone. The battery is already some certain level of power is inside. It's a prenatal. Yes. So this prenatal is the uh, the life force. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that's we, we need it for... Uh, to be alive. If we run out of it, we are dead. Mm -hmm. So, after that, when the, then every day, we need to ex do exercise to cultivate new energy. We, we call it the postnatal energy. Why? Because it's a charging. Like your mobile phone. If you don't charge, if you are only using your prenatal energy, when they run out, you are dead. So, you try not to use that because it's a life force. You try to cultivate new energy, so you can, you are using that energy and you preserve that prenatal energy. Okay. Yes. So then, then if you keep charging like your mobile, then it lasts longer. You live longer. Wow, like it builds. So, cumulative effects. You're saying like you keep charging it and it builds, builds, builds. Yes. Batteries yes. Can hold more. Right. Energy. Our body can hold more energy. Right. So how to cultivate energy? Cultivate energy have 
have uh, three way. One is breathing. Okay, that's why a lot of people learning how to breathe and blah blah blah. So by breathing, and then by a certain uh, body posture, okay, certain posture, and then uh, for uh, with uh, movement. So certain movement, like people are uh, doing the Tai Chi exercise. So certain movement. This three way technique. The best is to work them all together. Then you can cultivate energy. Okay, so when you have energy, then how to move the energy? Is energy is moving, is going where your intention go, and energy is running, is moving by intention. Okay. So when you just by intention to send certain energy to your certain body to do the healing, the energy will go. Okay, and then if this energy you are using your will, okay, will, and then it will become healing force. So using intention plus the will. Then you can utilize energy, become a healing force to heal yourself or to heal other people. Wow! Like the intention to heal, you're receiving the energy, and then you're holding the intention that I want to heal myself. As I'm receiving it, that intention changes the energy and what it's going to do, or it got, directs the energy or influences the energy. That's probably the best way to say it, right? Because it has its own intelligence. The, no, the energy when we are doing the exercise, uh, we. Uh, we cultivate energy and then we keep that energy in our body. Where we keep it? We keep it in our, uh, the, we call it the lower tankian. So it is the below the navel. Okay? And then also in all the meridian in our body. Our prenatal, yeah, all the meridian. So this is the Chinese medicine concept. So all the meridian. So the uh, the energy, they are in the meridian. They are in the uh, uh, the spinal cord, and they are also in the organ. Okay, so, so those are the energy channel and the energy uh, where it's running. And then the prenatal energy when we are born, the energy is kept in our kidney. When we're born, that's why, yeah, that's why you see that in the modern uh, medical, they can be, uh, be uh, to implant different organs successfully. Yeah. but not really with kidney oh that's interesting because it stores energy or because it has yeah the because there's like the battery of your mobile phone oh interesting okay so uh it is the prenatal energy the life force is there that's when we're born it's in our kidneys right wow. right i would have thought right. it would be like the heart or something but the heart no is no so the no it's kidney no, heart is just the uh, the machines to pump the, uh, the to move the the blood and also of course this energy also with the with this uh, heart uh, with this uh, uh, how do you call it? because of the uh, the respiratory uh, system, yes. but the the uh, the life force the we call it the uh, the vital energy is in the kidney. Kidney as well. That's so interesting. So there are a few organs. Yeah, there are a few organs we need to take care of ourselves. This one is the kidney. Mm -hmm. And then second is the spinal cord. Mm -hmm. Spinal cord is very, very important. All the uh, medic, all the mental blockage, all the energy blockage, it will always block in certain part of the spine. Yeah. It's one of the vertebrae somewhere in there. There's a jam somewhere. going to one of the nerves in the body and impact. Right. Right. Is there any tips you have for taking care of the spine that you could share with people? Is it with yeah. The yeah. There are the certain uh, breathing technique. We call it, I call it this uh, spinal breathing. Mm -hmm. Okay. There are certain, uh, later on, uh, if you want, I can send you a video of how to do that. Uh, it's a simple uh, uh, technique to breathe uh, doing the uh, spinal uh, breathing. Perfect, perfect. And then you can, can uh, yeah. Contact you and they can get it from you as well. Right, right. Sure. Yes, I'm welcome. Yeah. Okay, Maybe on I, I, one thing. Yeah, yeah you can go to my you can go to my website. And one thing, just want to let you know. Yes. 
I'm giving free therapy. I don't charge people. You don't charge okay. people? No, I don't charge. So ah. I give free therapy, yes. Uh, why? Because uh, this is not my profession, okay? Uh, I'm a businessman. I'm an artist. So this is my patient. Yeah. This is my patient. So one, I, I like teaching and I like uh, I mean helping people. You feel good when you can help people. And also uh, with this health, uh, free therapy, I really have a good track record in the real world. What I mean is that there are a lot of masters, a lot of teachers. They can teach you in the class. They can teach you online. They can teach you blah, blah, blah. But they, are, they have good knowledge to teach you, but they don't have track record in the real world. Mm. They might not have the real experience of healing yeah. client. Okay? So I need that. I think the best way is that I have the, the track record in the real world, not in the class. Okay? Not, not only theory. I know so that I know that what I'm teaching is working in the real world. Exactly. Because I have the track record. I have the, my YouTube channel showing all the different uh, 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 cases so that I can convince my, my students, I convince people that what I'm teaching is, is proven. Yeah. It's a track record proven. It is not only a, a theory. Yes. Yeah. I love so, that. Uh, if, so yeah. Fun. So if anyone uh, uh, need any, uh, any help, you can contact me. And for certain cases, uh, we can work uh, via Zoom. I, mean, I don't chat people. Oh, that's so sweet of you, Robert. I'm, def I'm sure a lot of people are going to reach out that need help. And you've helped me so much. That's why I wanted to interview you because I wanted to share your gifts with the world. And you're just such a good, high integrity man. And I'm so grateful for you. And yeah, but I don't, but I charge quite expensive for my class, for teaching class. <laughs> your class, and it's worth it. But people want to get certified. They can take your class and then they can make money doing this this work, basically. So you do teach people, you certify people, and then they're able to actually. And do you think like the one certification would be enough for them to start? Like if they came to take the training or you were in the country, would you think like after one training, they're able to start right away? Or do they need to do a couple of levels um, before they can? Yeah, I have, I have three uh, main classes, okay? One is the breathing class. So I only teach how to do the breathing. Breathing is very, very important. It's the basic for all the energy cultivation and also for, uh, for health. There, uh, it is a two days uh, intensive class. And then I have another class. I call it the Arcana uh, Energetic Code. Uh, they are, it, it is a three days intensive class to teach people how to cultivate energy and using the energy for self-healing and for certain simple healing. And then another class is uh, the uh, the therapy class, the the ancient hypnomagnetism therapy class. It is a five days intensive class. Uh, I have, in fact, I have three levels. But normally I put the first and the level one and level together. Okay, it's a five days. So I teach all the the uh, the energy cultivate cultivation. Also, the uh, hypnosis, uh, hypnotherapy concept, and then the whole the holistic protocol. So that once you join these five days, you are already capable to give therapy because you're already having the, the holistic uh, modality. And then if somebody wants to go up and have another advanced class, then you have more different advanced uh, modality uh, for, for uh, uh, how to call it, uh, for healing. I love, yeah. that. I love that. I love that. I don't make class and then promote to do that. Okay. Mostly people, they uh, try to uh, to help, to try to organize a, a group of people and then they tell me and then they invite me to teach. So either they, uh, they can come to Indonesia or uh, they invite me uh, to, to come to the country to teach. Okay. So uh, mo uh, normally they organize a group of people. And then uh, I'm coming to uh, to teach, and uh, I don't charge by person, but I charge by class by group. Oh, because when people okay. yeah class, yeah class, you charge for the class, yeah. everybody else there can learn it. Right, so. yeah yeah yeah. Then uh, they uh, they will pay my ticket, my hotel, and then uh, uh, get a certain amount of the the fee. Then uh, I I I I can come to. 
But it's so teach. cool that they could take that five day course with you and then start their own hypnotherapy. Oh, yeah. You know, which is so yes. needed in the world right now. And then they could work online, you know. So I love that. And I love that you're teaching and you're very detail oriented. So I know they'll learn everything step by step. And I would love to learn that hypnotism, uh, the hypnotism mechanism from you someday too. So hopefully someday. Yeah. I always teach the, my, my concept is I, I always teach the concept, the principle. Okay. Uh, and of course the technique, but technique is just a way to do the principle, the concept. But once you know the concept, the principle, how it works, then you technique is just a way. You can use your own technique. You can do the modification. You can do the the uh, 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 the improvisation. You, know, you can use whatever you want because you know how it works. You know, for some some cases you can you can combine a little bit with the a little bit theoretical thing. You know, whatever you can do. And yeah, yes. yeah, and even yeah. you can uh, do some, uh, you know, uh, fun with friends, you know, uh, performance or whatever. So it's 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 fun. It's a lot of fun. Yes, no, I love that. I love that. So I I hope that people will reach out and come see you for that, or have you come and see them. And is there any closing yeah. thoughts that you wanted to share with the audience, like a takeaway message that you want them to remember about everything you've said today? Um, yeah, uh, to be a good hypnotherapist, you need to have uh, a commitment, okay? Uh, and uh, also you need a kind of dedication to do it, at least for yourself, because there is no magic, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, what I give you is just a key, and you can use that key to open the door, and there are many things that you can find yourself. But uh, I would like uh, what I teach you is all the information, all the principle. Then you can expand it. Then you can combine it with whatever you have been doing or, or practicing. Okay, uh, I, I'm fine. A lot of people uh, uh, believe in uh, in different approach. Just for instance, just give example. Recently, I joined another class. I don't I don't want to mention the name. You no, know, this an international class in Europe. Went there, and then there was another way of approach, and it was powerful because people they believe it. Yeah. Uh, for instance, a lot of people they believe on alien. Okay. They believe on uh, how do you call it? They believe on uh, what do you call it? Uh, the terms uh, like the, the like the entities or the angel entity. Like okay, sorry. Yeah, the, <laughs> they believe on the entity. Uh, they believe on the dragon. Okay, they believe on the on the uh, unicorn. Okay, they believe on the on the spaceship. Okay, I'm fine. You know, I'm fine. And uh, when, yeah, yeah, yeah. When they practice the healing in the class, it works. Okay, it works. And then, uh, because I know all these principles, okay, I know the concept. I stay there, I enjoy, I learn also a lot of new things. But for me, honestly, I don't believe that. Okay. You still were able to be there and do it. That's interesting. I, I, no, so when in the class and practice, I do it my own way. It's also working. It's also working, okay? <laughs> because I'm, uh, uh, I don't say I don't believe it. This is the same thing when I learned the, 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 uh, the how to call it, the uh, ancient alchemy, for instance, with the, the mystical approach with mantra, okay? I learned all these things also, the mystical thing. Yes, yes. Uh, I learned all the mantra, but I don't use it now anymore because I, I know why the mantra works. I know how it works. When you okay? find the beginning of it, you can kind of, you don't need to use all the different tools. You yeah, after to I learned all these different uh, school, different, and then, then I, you know, I'm a, a very curious uh, guy. So I try to, uh, to find out the reason. When I know it, I say, okay, I don't need it. I can use my, my, my own way and it's even more simple. And I can explain. I can explain in a scientific uh, side how it works, why mantra works. Okay? So when this is also this class, 
they are teaching with the uh, the code, you know, like like a password. Download the the energy with the universe with this from the star, from the dragon. Talk to the dragon, <laughs> and then uh, yeah, they take off the uh, the entity from the body, you know, and then so they speak with the alien. I'm fine, okay. I'm fine. I'm open, but I know what's going on, okay. I know what's going. But see so, that, that are causing the things below it, like why those things would would have been attached, like the blockages, right? No, so, it, it is all uh, only in your belief system, okay. And uh, it is just an affirmation, mm. okay. And then it is again, it's all about quantum physics. Mm. It's a metaphysical. Okay, it's metaphysical. So uh, when you know how the metaphysics working in the healing way, then you can do everything. You can play around with yourself. Yeah. If you have a client who believes in the magic, in the black magic, do some critical thing. Do some critical like you are a witch. <laughs> Become a witch, okay? As long as he believes, the healing will happen. Because there's a belief system. You have the you have the competent, you have the uh, the authority. Mm -hmm. But I cannot heal my client who who is believed on black magic, but they don't believe on alien. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's like you have to go with what they believe, you know. You have yeah. to people where they're at. If they're don't yeah. God, don't say God. If they believe in God, use God to so kind of help people. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Exactly. If they can believe it, exactly. you can connect to it, they will heal. That makes perfect right. sense. That makes perfect sense. Yes, exactly. When they are very religious, some, you know, for some religion, they don't like this kind of hypnotherapy or what they think. They don't, they, they, they thought that it's against them. Then use that belief. Yes. As long as the healing uh, 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 happened, I don't mind. So that's why I use my protocol is like holistic and uh, I explain the concept, the principle. Mm. Okay, it's a holistic thing. So for me, I don't care about the technique. I always tell a joke to my uh, student. I say, if you need a hammer to hit on the head and they, uh, they, it's healed, do it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like sometimes you have to like hit something to make yourself believe you released an emotion or something. So everybody has to have their own method. That's why some people go and yeah. break plates, you know, or some people throw axes. They have classes in America for those things. But people think yeah. healing them, they go do it and they feel better. So... It's all about what yeah. they believe is going to ultimately lead to what heals them, right? Like if they believe in just Western medicine, that's probably what's going to heal them. But if they believe in Eastern medicine, maybe that's more likely to help them or a combination of the two. So. Yeah. So so when, so when I talk to the people about that, they say, that's funny. They say, uh, uh, I can't believe that, you know, some of the Asian, I can't believe the Western uh, people. In Western world, they still believe of all this kind of uh, like the the entity, all these things. Yes. I said no, it's not strange. I say it's not strange for Asian people. We live, we believe on on evil or or, or the mystical. Uh, no, I said the same thing. Yes. <laughs> the same Asian thing. Asian people all believe in these things, like the ghosts. Yes, yeah, same thing. People think that their door, like you live in Indonesia, it's such a like there's temples every corner. Right? Exactly. The goddess yeah. of the island is there. And, but yeah, but you're saying like it, the most important thing you said is like go with what people believe when you're trying to heal them. Don't try to change their belief. Go no. with what they believe just with the intention of healing whatever challenge. Yeah, you. don't cheat them. Okay, don't cheat them. Okay, just follow the, 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 the belief, but don't cheat them. Don't tell them something that it is, don't create story. Okay, okay? yeah, yeah. in, 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 in certain way, huh? Yes. Yeah, in certain way, don't create story. I mean, don't 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 give certain. Uh, you know, I, at least for my person, uh, uh, for 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 me, I I don't I don't do it. I always explain the scientific uh be behind the the concept. Yeah, good. Then it works to everyone. Yeah. yeah. Very, very good, very good. Such a great chat, Robert. I'll have to have you come back again in a few months to share more stuff with us too, if you like. But. Sure. My such pleasure. A, such a good interview. My pleasure. So honored to have you. And thank you. 
I will put all your information in the below so people can contact you and your YouTube you're channel. So see all the cases, all the cool things you do because you're not a regular hypnotherapist. The things I've seen you do is really cool. So I'm excited for everybody to see it. And thank you again. Thanks for having me.